The mission of the Women's Center is that gender will not be a barrier to academic success at Carolina. That means, you know, if you are a student on campus and you're taking classes, gender isn't a barrier to your success. Or if you're an employee on campus, gender isn't a barrier to you getting promotions. So our mission is that gender doesn't get in the way of anyone's success. My position is to be an advocate for people who have experienced sexual assault or some form of interpersonal violence or stalking or harassment. And so, you know, the Women's Center has a, a brand new, you know, full-time staff member now because of this national spotlight on sexual assault on college campuses. So I think it's impacted us a lot. It's the work that I do all day long, every day. And we try to make sure that it's, you know, on everyone else's minds as well. We have a lot of resources here for students. Uh, there are a lot of different ways that students can get plugged in here. We have programs that uh, take students on alternative break trips for both fall and spring break. We have a summer internship called the Moxie Project, which involves a paid six to eight week internship in the Triangle area, as well as a spring course that's focused on kind of the history of women's activism and they really get to develop their skills and kind of put things to use in a concrete form working in the community. Agenda continues to shape every, people's everyday experiences. So a lot of students come to the Women's Center because they are interested in feminist issues and feminist, various kinds of feminist change. Um, they want to participate in the alternative spring break programs or the MOXIE project, which help them develop leadership skills and put their academic classroom knowledge into the context of local communities and thinking about ways you actually enact the changes that um, they may have learned about in their classrooms. We help faculty and staff figure out what policies the university has around, say, family leave, um, and we can help them get more familiar with those policies and take more advantage of them. Most of our work falls under four specific pillars, which are uh, violence prevention, um, family advocacy, closing the gender gap, and gender difference and diversity. And so we do have resources for, for student parents to kind of help them navigating parenting at UNC. Uh, we have resources for anyone who's experienced any form of gender-based violence. We house the Gender-Based Violence Services Coordinator, um, who is a confidential uh, kind of hub of support um, for students who have experienced that. And then we also are, uh, you know, a safe space for people to come and voice any concerns they have um, about any other forms of gender inequity that they may be either facing or observing on campus. We also have different groups that meet throughout the semester. So we have media discussion groups that meet once a month. We have uh, work study positions, internships. They're kind of a number of ways that students can get involved depending on the level of involvement that they want to have with the center. I think that gender equity is everyone's issue, not just a women's issue. You know, one way that anyone can get involved is just around campus when you hear people making sexist remarks, if you feel like that situations come up where gender is a barrier to someone's success, stand up, speak up, speak out in those moments. That will help shift you know, our culture and create culture change. And if someone doesn't feel comfortable or know how to do that, you know, we welcome student, um, students to come in and find ways to volunteer and to learn more about how they can get involved in the Carolina community.